Hey guys, it's me, the Fnatic, and welcome to week 9 of the Pokemon Premier League. I'm sorry that it's late, uh, obviously, Men of Battle by Friday, but me and Kino have had scheduling issues, uh, work and real life stuff. But it's Sunday afternoon, uh, sacrificing my Sunday on the lounge, watching football to Battle Kino now, and uh, <sighs> Kino's team is uh, pretty scary. I'm not gonna lie, I'll quickly tell you what he has in his squad. Uh, Latias, Azumarill, Gabalion, Entei, Amoongus, Thunderous, Swampert, Kadabra, Regirock, and Drapion. Now, this week I'm being a man. This week I'm bringing a Rock Polish Torterra. Now, he only has two safe switch ins, which is Thunderous and Amoongus. Now, Thunderous won't appreciate Stealth Rocks. Amoongus is his best switch in to my, uh, my Torterra, which is running Crunch, Seed Bomb, Earthquake. Obviously, Crunch hits Latias. It's enough to two-hit KO. A max HP one, max defense. I don't think it does. Uh, I don't think there was any way I could, unless I was banded by went out speed. So it's gonna be interesting this week. Uh, to let you know, I'm bringing Torterra, Fortress, Heliolisk, Mega Bro, Weavile, and Tornadus. Kino team is just spooky, and I had to leave something behind that would do uh, good work uh, this game now. I'm running a bit of a risk in not bringing anything specially bulky, um, especially with Thunderous around, uh, but he's got a lot of physical threats, um, and I feel like I've got things to handle what I expect him to bring, otherwise I'm going to be a bit stuffed, but we'll, we'll send a request now. Obviously I know what results have happened, I'm a little bit nervous about this game, if I win, Pretty much secures my status in Division 1. There'll be six points to play for, and I will be six points clear of the relegation playoff. So if uh, whoever's in that place doesn't win any of their games remaining, I stay up, it's fine. Um, if I lose, I remain three points ahead, and next week becomes even bigger. Next week, I'm playing Colton, uh, who is uh, in the relegation zone. He will need to win that. Otherwise, he gets relegated. So there'll be a huge uh, impetus for him um, to actually get something from that game. So it's going to be scary. We're going to go with uh, Music Free because that is my favourite. I'm hoping it will calm me down a bit. Probably won't, but you know. Let's see what Kino has for me then, shall we? What have you got for me, my man? What have you got? So he's got Fundy. Azu, Cabalion, doesn't have the Amoongus, thank god, Entei, so Thunderous is only switching to uh, Torterra, and I don't think it will take two crunches after two lots of Stealth Rocks, so, <sighs> this this will be interesting, Latias, right, that's his team, he's not got a ground type, What's his lead? What's his lead? I've just realised that um, my fortress can't touch Thunderous. Bad bit of prep on my behalf, I guess. Um, I think Vimto is probably the best lead. Or is he? We'll lead off with Torterra. And then see what we have to do from there. He might expect me to set up rocks, so we'll go with that. I, I really want to run Heliolisk. Heliolisk is Assault Vest, by the way. It's like my most bulky special thing I have. And I'm pretty sure I'm probably being stupid here. Let me get my damage calculator. Oh, game started. Good luck. Have fun, Kino. Pretty sure the Thunderous gets Volt Absorb when it's uh, in its very form. I'm so glad he doesn't have to move. If I can get up to plus two, if I can get a... Oh, he starts off with Entei, okay. That's interesting. There's the pressure. Now, do I go into Mega Bro here? It's my best play, really, isn't it? I don't think he predicted that, really. Does that mean this thing's Scar? Now 
Now, what's his switch in? To... Slowbro. Probably Latias. Probably Azumarill, actually. A quick burn on the Azumarill would be fantastic. But Entei kind of gets stopped. Unless he's got Solar Beam. Power Herb Solar Beam. If he has that, I just, I just have to sit here and clap. Really. He's taking his time. I had no haste. He's probably scared of what this Torterra is. If he switches out, I'm going to be a bit annoyed. But Torterra is actually my win condition. I think, in my head. Um, it's bulky. It's so bulky. I had to run... I've got 100 speed. That is my stat. So if I get Rock Plus Shuffle, I'll be at 200. Um, I didn't do too much maths, because I think... Potentially, any high-speed Scarfer he has, he switches out. Damn it. Violetta. He goes out into his Latty Ass. Okay, so he was expecting the Earthquake. No, no. So he switches out first, so he knows I'm not Scarf now. Which is fine. Now, what's he going to do here? Is he going to Toxic me? Is he just going to drop a hot old Draco on me? Do, 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 do. This is not what I wanted to see. I need to keep... Right. So Heliolisk stops Zoomerill from doing anything. You know what? Let's Mega Evolve and click Slack off. See if I can take a Draco. See what he wants to do here. He, he'll even have Thunderbolt. Scout and see if he has the Thunderbolt or not. Energy Ball. Okay, so he doesn't have Thunderbolt, which is interesting. Oh my word. Okay, he's Life Orb. That does so much damage. I am physically defensive. That's not good. Now he might drop the Draco. This is his default. I really want to bring Hazard Stack against him. This has put me in such a bad position. So I will outspeed. I will actually outspeed with Robin. Um, it's just whether he goes for an energy ball again or not. Let's make the switch. If he clicks Draco now. Fair play. I'm glad I clicked Slack off, because I need to I need that thing as a switch in. There's the Draco, he hits. Crap. We're dead. We're dead. That's not a good start at all. That's a kill for Latias. Now though. This thing can come in. Let's click rock polish. Let's go. This was the free switch I needed. Gonna bring in. I'm a bit annoyed about Tornadus, really. I can still outspeed this thing with Weavile. I think Tornadus is probably the most expendable thing I have. Yeah, I think it definitely is. I just have to get this thing gone quickly. Now, I will live a Draco. I can live a Draco Meteor from this thing. Especially at minus two. So, if I had rocks up, I could kill this thing on this next switch in. I 
you have draws, so it's a free rock polish. Friendship, what's this? A Zoomerill? Is he gonna be Sap Sipper? Let's click Seed Bomb and find out. I'm Adamant Expert Belt. I think Crunch might even kill Latias if it switches into the Seed Bomb. It stays in. It's dead! It's a dead Azumarill. Okay. Torterra got killed! That's something. I don't think Entei Scarfed. Based on what we've seen, I don't think Entei Scarfed, because he switched out. Fearing... Fearing that I was going to outspeed him, I guess. In comes this thing. Now, if he has Ice Beam... See, I think I can de- I need to keep this thing around. So, Tick Tick can come in. And scout for the hidden pa for the Ice Beam. Because I can live a Draco Meteor. There's a Draco. I expect this thing might have Roost. Now I am physically defensive. We took that okay. We took that okay. It's so at minus two now. But I can get these rocks up. Slight oversight on my behalf with the Tor the Thunderous. Sid a nasty pot thunderous. Oh my. Kinda wanted to kill him kill me uh well not kill me off. And the draws, okay. Entei, that's fine. Kinda wish I clicked uh, Volt Switch there. Rocks are up, that's really going to help me. And he's probably going to expect me to go in, out into that thing, so I'm going to click Bolt Switch. He'll probably overpredict. No, he doesn't overpredict. He goes straight for the Sacred Fire. That's fine. I've got my rocks up, that's what I wanted. Hasn't really got a switch in. And the thing here is, I could go for Slack Off. I'm going to click Ice Beam. If he switches in Latias, that's perfect. Uh, I've crossed out Latias when I shouldn't have. That's not what I'm going to do. Power Herb Solar Beam. He has the Power Herb Solar Beam! Uh, 
I, I, I just have to clap. <laughs> he has it. It's exactly what I said he'd have. Well, now I'm in a bit of a predicament, aren't I? Oh, this game is over. This game is over already. This is my only hope now. That he misses a sacred fire. This game's gone horribly wrong. Horribly, horribly wrong. I knew... I didn't... I should have bought Heatran. Why didn't I bring Heatran? There's a Sacred Fire. He hits the Sacred Fire. God damn. That's the game. That's the game. I have to go for the Ice School Crash flinch. For any sort of hope in hell. A crit? Can I get a flinch? No, I can't. That's a dreadful, dreadful game. And it finished in 13 minutes. I got completely destroyed. Completely butt raped. Um, yeah, I can't be salty because there was there, there was the there was the solar beam. There, that that was the solar beam. Sorry, I'm a bit silent, really, because uh, I'm a bit shocked. If I'd have bought Heatran, that would have been a completely different game. But he had so many things that could kill Heatran, but you know. Yeah! That's a thing. Um, <laughs> that was an awful battle. Awful, awful battle. And I've been dragged right down into the mire that is low league battle. But... Never mind. We're going to have to really bring our A game next week. Next week we have Colton, who, uh, well, actually, I won't spoil it because I don't think either of them have uploaded yet. Um, that, that's a must win game now. A must win game. Um, thank you for watching this video, guys. Make sure you leave. I don't even know what to say. I'm just shocked. Um, make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy this video. If you didn't, then don't. I, I sure as hell didn't. Otherwise, I will see you for next week's battle. <laughs> Bye.